The fault code in the video title means that the siren somehow is out of order. Uh, you'll find the siren on the right side of the car after you remove the wheel and the inner wheel arch. Uh, you can replace the batteries in this siren and yes, there is batteries in these and you can replace them by yourself. Battery source needs to be rechargeable and around 7.2 volts and 150 milliamp. Uh, I'll drop a few examples that works in the video description. So let's repair a car. So what tools do we need? Uh, for starters, we need to take off the wheel on the car. So we need a 19 millimeter socket and something to pull it out with. We, you can use a ratchet, a ratchet as well if you want. Um, and then we need a 10 millimeter socket for the plastic fender to come off. And uh, then we need to remove the old rivets that also uh, holds the uh, plastic fender together. So to that we need a five millimeter uh, drill and something to drill with, of course. And then we need a saw or something equivalent. Um, you can use a grinder or something like that as well to remove the bolt that holds, holds the, um, the um, uh, the alarm in place. There is actually only one bolt that holds this together. So uh, you also need a uh, you also need a uh, M6 10 millimeter bolt as well. If you're not a uh, stingy SOB, otherwise you can use the whole one if you like. And to uh, remove this from the car, we need to use a, uh, a flat screwdriver or a flat bit or something like that, and a ratchet, of course. Um, and then we need to uh, to charge up the uh, siren so it will work again with uh, the power as it's supposed to. We need to use some kind of a battery source, of course. Um, then we can use, there is a few paths to go here. You can use rechargeable AA batteries and six of them um, and put them uh, into this. But the thing is, uh, these are too big to place specifically into the uh, siren itself. So if you're going to use AA batteries, you need to carve, uh, carve some of the plastic and then you can use a, uh, then you can use a melting gun or something like that to, uh, to uh, make it solid again. So there doesn't come in any moist or something like that. So you can use AA batteries or you can use uh, button cells batteries that are uh, around 7.2 volts. Uh, and that's what is uh, recommended to use on this. You can use uh, batteries that are in less or a bit higher voltages as well. It, the siren itself isn't that picky. It, it, it could be around six and a half volts and eight volts. It doesn't specifically needs to be 7.2, but that is what I recommend. So, uh, and then we need a uh, rivet gun and uh, 10 of these rivets to uh, put the plastic fender back together. Oh, and, uh, and I forgot, we also need to use a uh, soldering iron, some soldering wire and some flux to, uh, to solder the wires back together on the battery uh, before you put it all together. Uh, and then um, you also need to use uh, some glue uh, to put this all together back again and uh, then you're good to go hopefully so let's get started
So what we're going to do now is to separate uh, these two pieces. We can use a saw for example, but uh, if you're using one of these, make sure to use a pair of these. If you're not a stingy SOB, otherwise you can use the whole one if you like. You know what? I'm a stingy SOB. <laughs> and when you do this, make sure to start with the top first, because it will make it, make it much easier. And then we're up for the rivets. And hopefully when you do this, you're stronger than me and then we'll, it will go just fine. Here we are, moment of truth. You don't need to disconnect the battery or anything. Uh, what we're going to do now is to lock the car and unlock it. And uh, when we pull, uh, put the ignition on, uh, the uh, alarm service message will come straight away if uh, the alarm sir siren is still broken. And it locks, and it unlocks, looks promising. And it only says, driver door is open. Now it's in Swedish, guys, but it says driver's door open. You have one message, driver door open. Now that was great, one less thing to worry about. If I were to any help, hit that like button. And if you're into more car repairs with me, you should consider subscribing. Now go out there to your garage or your workshop and make an impact.